good morning today is saturday 20 july 20 and i'm gonna go compete in philadelphia <laughs> It's my first international pole competition. It's actually my second competition. Last week I had my first one and I'm super excited, very nervous, and you're gonna come along with me. Okay, bags are ready. It's a bit of a chaos right now, but we'll get there. Got all of my shit in order, all my stuff. I went through 3SA and now I am on my way to the gate. I fly standby because of my brother. So I'm gonna see if I can get in this flight. Let's see. We never know. It's a surprise. As you can see, I like pink. I haven't eaten anything, but I have to like say hi to the gate person first. Fit check. Well, so much for stressing out my flight. But I was saying that so much for stressing out and the flight is actually delayed. We are leaving now at 12 09 p.m. And when I did the whole check-in stuff, there was seven spots left. Now it's at full capacity, so I might not get on. Well, update. I'm still trying to see if I can get on board. It's 12:02 p.m. Captains are here. Flight attendants are here. They're almost done with the people, so I'm next. Let's see. Couldn't get in the first flight, and I was really sad about it. I was like so crying. Might have a picture, maybe. I'll share it, maybe not. And then I have to wait for 2 p.m. 2.22 to be exact. For the next flight, see if I could get on that one. And I did. I have my boarding pass here. So I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to go to the ferry. I got here. I'm actually waiting for my Uber. I had one Uber confirmed, but then they stopped and didn't move for a while, so I don't know what that was about. But now it says my Uber is on its way. Prendete sesamo. This one's okay. So this is the bathroom. Fancy, fancy. Mm -hmm. And then this is the room. Pretty big. That's where I'll sleep. That's where my men will sleep. This is my tripod. Before I change, the shirt is from Urban Outfitters. The pants are from Urban Outfitters. The booty is from Puerto Rico. The braids are from Viera Braids. The necklace from Noco Indias. Her. I was really, really anxious about a man not being able to get on board because he was also flying standby, but that's done. He got his boarding pass and he's on his way to me i ordered some uber eats some asian food but i was getting too hungry so i went downstairs and got some snacks also some stuff for tomorrow i think i'm gonna munch 
on this a little because I'm too hungry. Way too hungry. I haven't eaten anything, like a full meal. I didn't have breakfast this morning because I don't have breakfast usually. And then in the airplane, I got some... This is good. I got some noodles, like cup noodles. Those were good, but I need meat. Now that I know that my man is getting on board and he's on his way to me, I have to concentrate on tomorrow. <laughs> so breakfast here, it's 7 a.m. And we have to be at 7.30 over there. So we're not going to be able to catch the breakfast here, which is a bust. But tomorrow is our another day. We already ordered the Uber. It should be here in three minutes. <laughs> It's breakfast time. So La papa tambora. She want a coke? Coke. Oh. Orange juice. Orange juice. Your mandarin juice. What is this in Good competition. I'm just really nervous but excited and looking forward to seeing everyone because I also came here to like see people and you know get in touch with the community. So Yesterday after the competition, my battery died. That's why I didn't film anything else. Um, just a little clip of where we were going. We went to eat something. <laughs> this is so surreal. I can't believe I actually won. I was very, very nervous the whole competition. I actually started to get really anxious before I had to go on. My palms were sweating. That if you know, pole dancing. If your palms are sweating, that's not the best thing because you need your grip. So that was really stressful. A competitor before me did such an amazing job. Well, everyone did, but she was like, she did the bird of paradise, which is a element I still haven't achieved. Like I can't grab on it. So when she did that, I was like, oh shit, I'm fucked. But then when it was my turn, I stand on the stage. I took a deep breath and I said, I know how to do this. This is my thing. 
and I'm gonna go with all my power, all my might, and I'm just gonna have fun out there. And my man was also like, you, you got this, there's no pressure. This is for you and for you only. I'm gonna be proud of you no matter what. And I think uh, those words were really good for Hinata <laughs> in that moment. So when it was my time and they called my name, ooh, girl, it was game face. I was like, okay, this bitch knows how to look good do her elements and also like captivate an audience and that's what i went for and well it worked it worked because well we won i had the opportunity to do all of my elements i did my crossbow at the end which i was very worried about i actually started the routine and went a little bit fast at the beginning which i ended up having a little bit more time but i think that was perfect because I had the opportunity to do some more floor work. I know floor work is something they value in these competitions as well. At practice in the morning, the pole was spinning like crazy. Like you could only do like this and you would start spinning a lot. So I was like counting on that spin because I wanted to do like a lot of transitions in just one uh, set. But when we went to the competition, I asked a few competitors before me, like how was the pole, how was the pole spin? And they said that it was actually a little bit slower than in the morning. So I was like, okay, game time. What you're gonna do if the pole stops rotating when you're in your mid split? And well, I had to go down, do a little bit of floor work and then go back up to do the, the elbow grip Aisha, which I can put a clip here so you know what I'm talking about. Then I, went down again did more floor work and then ended up with a crossbow which i think was perfect because i had a lot of endings in my head of what should i have done but the crossbow was like the the best ending like everyone was screaming their lungs out and i stood in the crossbow for like three rotations which that's like proving to them that it's not something i just grabbed it's something that i conquer that it's mine that i can do whenever i want which is not always but they don't know that so <laughs> it was actually a really amazing experience something i'll cherish for cherish forever this is my medal i am a pso gold medalist in level four now we have a lot of goals after this many things to come and i'm just so excited to see how everything you know moves from now we are supposed to be at the airport we should leave from here like at 7 a.m so we can be at the airport at 8 a.m we leave at tw uh, 10 a.m so we're doing our luggages and packing our bags so we're ready to leave Thank you so much for coming along with me in this journey. I still can't believe everything that happened this weekend, but I am so proud and happy of myself and all that I accomplished. I am so much looking forward for my next time, and I swear I'm gonna bring you along with me. So, see you till the next one. Bye.